What's up, everybody? Um, found another LMG here. This is the Stoner LMG A1. And I haven't fired it yet. Looks kind of cool. Not the hugest fan. Got some little key mod grip on it. Um, let's see what it has. Oh, let's show the location here. Sorry, I'm tired. We are in the Pukara region. The south region of um, the starting area, Itaqua. And this is this little place called... What is this called? Pukara Base. It's actually not little. It's a big fucking base on top of a mountain. So once you get in there and get the gun, you can see what it has. And that's what I'm going to do right now. What do we got? Stock. It's got two different stocks. We've got the extended butt stock and the folded butt stock. As far as scopes, it's got its iron sights and only a couple of other options. I'm going to put the Micro T1 on. Trigger is full auto only. Magazine, 100 round only. The 5.56 um, magazine. We've got the various foregrips. I'm going to put the um, V4 foregrip on it. Both laser sights. Uh, barrel. We got standard and long barrel. I don't have it unlocked. And muzzle. Oh, this one can actually be suppressed. This is the first LMG that I've seen that can actually have a suppressor on it. So this is kind of cool. Suppressor and two of the compensators. Nice. So I'm going to put that suppressor on it. And this thing's pretty sweet. Let's see what it compares to, like, the, um... Where's another LMG? The MK249. Same damage. Uh, better accuracy. The MK249 has a little bit better handling and range. But the uh, rate of fire of this stoner LMG is actually higher. So that's cool. Now if we compare it to the Type 95 China gun. Type 95 has a little bit better damage. Worse accuracy, handling... Um, tiny bit worse rate of fire, but this has better range and penetration. This looks like a pretty sweet LMG. Holy crap. Is it huge looking with that suppressor in my hand? Like, okay, something's wrong here. Look at how long the suppressor is when it's when my dude's holding it. But when we check the suppressor out on the gun, it's this little guy. So I'm not sure which one it is. Is it a little tiny suppressor, or is it this big fucking giant suppressor? It's not even the same looking suppressor. Crazy. Yeah, that thing is huge. Now, when we hold it, it is the big giant suppressor. So, what we see on the gun is not actually what it is. A few shots with this is fairly controllable, but not, not too controllable. Now inside that's not too bad at close range this thing is really easy to control and large magazine and suppressed so this is pretty nice to have a hundred round mag suppressed gun that would be decent at uh clearing buildings now when you get out of its range which i would call its optimal range not that sweet that's probably about as far away as you'd want to be right there when using this gun Definitely would not want to try to use this at long range. Starts moving all over the place. But pretty sweet gun. I kind of like this. As far as the LMGs, this is my favorite. Mainly because you can put a suppressor on it. And the other ones, you can't. So they're not very useful for me when you don't want to, you know, alert things. Especially if you're up close to them. Or close to the other guys around. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this, and check out all the other videos, all the other guns and attachments we got up on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check us out live. We stream 24-7, Twitch TV slash Streamer House. We're going to be playing this game a lot. Look at how huge that suppressor is. It looks goofy. But thanks again for watching, guys.